Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can get 100 likes, and as well if you haven't dropped the sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, it's going to be the match preview for Birmingham City versus Fulham under-21s in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. So let's get straight into it. So obviously this is going to be an important game for both teams because um, qualification to the next round is on the line. Birmingham City can go through if they avoid defeat, even if we do lose on penalties um, after 90, we would have that point and Fulham would pick up two, Fulham under 21s would pick up two points, but we would go through on goal difference. So if we don't lose this game in the 90 minutes, we're through basically and Fulham have to win to qualify for the next round. Uh, Fulham under 21, should I say, sorry. But yeah, Fulham under 21s um, sit third in their league, in the Premier League 2, and they've actually won five out of the first six Games losing one, winning five, and uh, out, like I said, out the first six games. So they've had, you know, they're sitting third place in the Premier League two. They're having a really good start to the season, to be fair. Um, ahead of Liverpool in the twenty ones and Arsenal in the twenty ones and Chelsea in the twenty ones as well. Um, so yeah, their top goal scorer is uh, Christian Seki Larek. Suku Larek. Um, I've probably yet again butchered butchered that name, but yeah, he's got four goals um, so far for them. This season, they've also got um, Chris Donnell, the Australian, who's got two goals and he's also got three assists, I believe, for them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know too much about Fulham under 21s, to be fair. Um, I, I'm pretty sure, it, you know, most Blues fans don't know too much about them. But, yeah, um, of course, in this competition so far this season, they actually, did they, I believe they lost to Warsaw 1-0 and they beat Shrewsby 2-1 away. So, um, yeah, getting on to Blues, <laughs> yeah, getting on to Blues, of course, we had that 1-1 draw against Mansfield Town yesterday, um, and uh, you know what, this competition, are Blues going to take it seriously? Well, we dismantled Shrewsbury Town 4-0 away from home in our last encounter um, in this competition, in our last game, should I say, in this competition, but do you start a strong starting 11, do you have a strong starting 11 for this game? Because yes, we do need to get the job done Tuesday night to progress. But we've got Sutton next Sunday in the FA Cup. We haven't got a league game for two weeks. Do you... Look, we've had a really difficult run of games the past week. Seven days, three tough fixtures, coming out with seven points for a possible nine. But we have picked up a, lock of, a couple of injuries here and there um, as well. So, look, in between the sticks, I would have... I wouldn't have Peacock Farrell. I know it's in, you know I know it's not a, um, a league game, but still, I would keep Ryan Orsop in between the sticks. I would drop Clara. I would have Sanderson and Ben Davis as two centre backs. Taylor Garner, Hitman as the right back. Cochrane as the left back. I would drop, or I, you know, it's more like give them a rest. Really, to be fair, I would have Leonard because I think you know he needs game time. He needs game time. I mean, I feel sorry for him in a way. He can't even get a game due to the fact that Pike and Awata are just so good together in that midfield. So yeah, I would have Leonard, and then I would have Pike. Now, the forward options, of course, Jay Stansfield is actually going to... Look, we actually did play Fulham. It was just the main team in the League Cup, and we lost that game 2-0 at home, and Jay Stansfield scored that goal for Fulham, and now he's playing against Fulham, albeit being the under-21s. Jay Stansfield come off in the second half against Mansfield due to like having like a little knock. I don't think he was 100% fit um, in the Mansfield game. But do you risk him? Look, I would start Yoki Arma on the left. I would have Keshi Anderson on the right. I would have William Ford, William Anderson in that cam roll, and I would have Alpha May up top. I would drop personally, I would bench Jay Stansfield for this game because you don't want to start him in this game and you know he picks up a really bad injury and he's out for even longer than he was um previously. So yeah. My score predictions for this game, I think it's gonna be Birmingham City. Well, they did lose to... We could actually still top the group, by the way, if we also drop points to Shrewsbury Town. But, yeah, um, I can't see that happening, to be fair. Albeit, you know, Shrewsbury Town are actually in a higher division than Warsaw, but Warsaw are having a brilliant season. Not the same. Not can't really say the same for Shrewsbury Town. But, yeah, my score predictions for this game. Um, I think this is going to be a game where Blues come out on top. I think we'll win comfortably, to be fair. I think it'll be 3-0 Blues. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with my starting 11? And also, are you going to the game and... So on and so forth. Do you think we'll qualify? Um, anyway, it's been Kubrat on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if you could have wanted likes. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. And as always, keep brighter.